Hi, today I have something very interesting for you guys. This is a complete guidance section of a Javelin missile. The code of the missile is FGM148, if I remember correctly. Don't ask me where I have found that thing. This kind of stuff is very hard to find. And when you find one, you have to pay the price because this thing is not cheap. It was maybe the only one available in the market. Okay, we can see here a picture of a complete missile. Okay, so you can recognize the guidance section here, just above the seeker, which is here, but unfortunately I don't have the seeker. So you can recognize the small plastic stuff here, which is here. Okay, so you can recognize the screws here. You can see these screws here. And there are several flat cables. This one corresponds to this one here. Okay, and we can see another flat cable, which is this one. And there are also other flat cables here. The use of flat cables seems common in missiles. I have already seen flat cables in the tow missile. So we can see on that image the cross section of the javelin missile. Okay, so the guidance section is here. So inside there is actually the precursor charge inside and we can see here the roll for the precursor charge. Okay, and the main charge is here. So it should be on that area here. Most of electronics are located on that uh, device here. And there is another electronic section, okay, which is uh, here. And this is called uh, the Safe Arm and Fire ISAF. Okay. I have masked the serial number and other informations to avoid any problem. We can see here two small sub-D connectors. And we can see that there is the first PCB full of SMD parts here. And probably there is another one just below this one. Okay, so the material seems to be a kind of carbon composite. So there is a hole here, I don't know what is the purpose of that hole. There are a lot of screws, so it seems not complicated to disassemble this unit. And here there is a large space, so probably it was used for the main charge. Okay, we can see that there is also one sub D connector here, and uh, there are two cuttings here for two other connectors, but uh, which are not populated. There are probably different versions of this Javelin missile. Okay, we can see also a kind of aluminium plate here. So there are uh, three TO3 parts actually. Uh, these parts are power or pumps. Okay, so with light it is better. We can have a better view of these power op amps. And uh, we can see here something which uh, seems to be a red gyro connected to this flat cable. And it seems that there is another one here maybe. Okay, so it start by removing this circular plate here. There are a lot of little screws here. Okay, so there is something written here. So probably the code of this stuff. Yeah, okay, we can have a better view on the electronics. Look at that. There, is, there are effectively two boards. Okay, so I don't think we need to remove this metallic piece here. 
Okay, so we start by removing these two screws. Okay, so we have a special screws here. Okay, so I have found the suitable tip for these special screws. Okay, unfortunately, the last one is much more difficult to remove and I have destroyed actually the screw. Okay, so this one will be very complicated. I think I will drill this screw. It is the best solution. This thing is very complicated to remove. I am struggling since one hour with that thing. But I think it is coming now. Okay, look at that. The problem was that plate which was actually glued okay, to the case. I think because of this pinkish product, I think it is a kind of glue. Okay, so now we can see the details of the guidance computer. Okay, look at that. Some parts are not populated. The references of the parts are obscure. And this thing is very sophisticated. We have several FPGAs on that thing. Okay, you can see, so there is a, a kind of module here, you get that. Now this is maybe a DC-DC converter for the power supplies. Okay, so you can see the reference of these power op amps. This is the OME2541 SK2. And here it seems that we have a gyro. It is called a multi sensor. There is a date here, 98. There is a resistor value indicated here. Okay, so I will separate these two boards. I will do that off camera. Okay, so I have removed the screws here. Normally it should be possible to separate these two boards. Okay, look at that. And this is a serious design. Most of the parts are totally obscure. This golden package. Okay, so there are some memories here. Okay, there is a beautiful part here. From Datel. This is a sampling AD. It is written on it. Should cost a fortune back in the days. This is an ADS 30383. So it seems that most of the parts are digital parts. I don't see any analog section on that device.
Okay, and we have uh, this uh, sensor here. Okay, so this is the sensor. Okay, so there is resistor value 16.9 kilo ohms. Okay, so it is called the multi sensor. And there is a serial number and a part number, but uh, nothing else. I don't know what to do with that sensor. Let me know if you want me to open that thing and to see what is inside or, or if I have to keep it like this. But it is the most interesting thing, I think, of that missile. But of course, this thing is much more complicated than older missiles. So this one uses actually an imaging sensor, a 64 by 64 infrared sensor. So this ADC should be the video converter. You can see also the thickness of the PCB, 2.3 millimeters. So I think that the time required to design such a thing should be enormous also. You must be sure that the missile will go to the target and not in your garden. That's all for this Javelin Missile Guidance Computer. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time for another video. Bye bye.